everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 22nd and 23rd of may 2022 let's start first of all we'll see the answers of the previous quiz and winner of which is sheikh wasim hussain so congratulations to you first question was which is the venue of the first incredible india international cruise conference that was held in 2022 so the host for this event was mumbai which tennis player won the italian open 2022 women single title so this was won by iga swiatek who is from poland which football club clinched the i league title in 2022 answer is gokulam kerala fc what is the theme of the international families day 2022 so the theme for this year was families and urbanization elizabeth born is the new female prime minister of which country so now onwards she is the prime minister of the country france okay so now let's start with our questions now which ministry launched the report on circular economy in municipal solid and liquid waste so ministry of housing and urban affairs has released a report on circular economy in municipal solid and liquid waste and at present India generate 1.4 lakh tons of solid waste daily out of which 35% is dry waste okay so this report has estimated that proper municipal wet solid and construction waste treatment can generate around 30000 crore rupees revenue annually okay so this report was from ministry of housing and the urban affairs who is our minister for this ministry hardeep singh puri next question which country chaired the brics foreign ministers meet in 2022 so china hosted the brics foreign ministers meet in 2022 and the ministry of external affairs of india the minister of which is s Jay Shankar participated in this meeting where the foreign ministers discussed the situation there in Ukraine and supported the talks between Russia and Ukraine okay so external affairs minister also participated in the BRICS foreign ministers dialogue with the emerging markets and the developing countries okay talking about BRICS there are five member countries in it Brazil Russia India, China and the South Africa. South Africa is the latest country to join this organization and don't forget that in the year 2021 the host for BRICS was India and in the month of January we handed over the presidency of BRICS to the country China and now onwards in this year whatever events and conferences would be held under the BRICS it would be chaired by China. Okay? Next question which institution has prepared the state of inequality in india report released by economic advisory council prime minister so the state of inequality in india report was released by dr bibek debroy who is the chairman of economic advisory council to the prime minister and it has been prepared by the institute for competitiveness with information on inequalities across the sectors of health education household and the labor market so as per this report while earnings have risen over the years the benefits of that growth have largely remained concentrated 
and this has basically marginalized the poor people further means rich are becoming richer and the poor are becoming more poor okay so this was the report from institute for competitiveness next question who is the chairperson of the cotton council of india that was formed recently so the union government has announced the formation of the cotton council of india under the chairmanship of suresh bhai kotak and he is also called as cotton man of india and the council will have the representatives from textile agriculture commerce and the finance ministers along with the cotton corporation of india and the cotton research institute okay and the headquarters for central institute for cotton research lies in nagpur fine next question who has won the 2022 vangari mathai forest champions award so activist Cecily Nedjebet of Cameroon won the 2022 Wangari Mathai Forest Champions Award in recognition of her contribution to preserve the forest and improve the lives of people who are dependent on the forest. So this award is presented by Collaborative Partnership on Forest which is chaired by the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations. So this award was conferred at a ceremony during the 15th world forestry congress in seoul republic of korea okay can you tell me who has been recently conferred with best nurse award do let me know in the comments next question what is the gdp projection for india as recently updated by snp so snp global ratings has cut india's growth forecast to 7.3% from earlier estimate of 7.8% for the financial year 23 on rising inflationary pressure and longer russian ukraine war so the rating agency snp has also increased its inflation forecast for india by 90 basis point to 6.3% for the current financial year okay next question as per the recent amendment in the national policy on biofuels what is the target year of blending 20% ethanol in petrol so the cabinet headed by prime minister narendra modi has approved the amendments to the national policy on biofuel and it advanced the target of blending 20% of ethanol in petrol by the year 2025 to 26 from earlier 2030 so at present about 10% of ethanol is blended in petrol and more feed stock have been allowed for the production of biofuels which can be doped with the auto fuel okay next is which institution developed hans and g the new generation two seater flying trainer aircraft so hans and g which is the new generation two seater flying trainer aircraft has been designed and developed by council for scientific and industrial research national aerospace laboratory and recently it has successfully completed in flight engine relight test okay so this test was carried out at the aeronautical test range facility of defense research and development organization in the state of karnataka okay next is which armed force recently tested india's first indigenously developed anti ship missile from sea king helicopter at itr odisha so the indian navy has successfully carried out the maiden test firing of the first indigenously developed naval anti ship missile from sea king 42b helicopter and this test firing was done in association with the drdo and it was conducted at the integrated test range in odisha's bala sore So this anti-ship version of the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile was successfully test fired jointly by the Indian Navy and the Andaman and Nicobar Command. Fine. So correct answer would be Indian Navy. Next question: Mukhya Mantri Ghar Ghar Ration Yojana is a doorstep ration delivery scheme of which state or the Union territory? So Delhi High Court recently declared that. Aam Aadmi Party government's doorstep ration delivery scheme that is Mukhyamantri Ghar Ghar Ration Yojana is not valid 
anymore. So the High Court bench said that the Delhi government can bring another doorstep delivery scheme, but it cannot use the grains provided by the center for this doorstep scheme. Fine. So that's why this Yojana was in news. Next is India UAE startup bridge was recently launched in which Indian city? So our Commerce Minister Piyush Goel launched the India UAE startup bridge in Mumbai as a part of comprehensive economic partnership agreement signed between the two countries recently. And this bridge will facilitate the joint training sessions for the incubators in India and the UAE. Why? So as to provide the market access information to the startups in sector such as textile, gems, jewelry and leather. So this is one of the latest trade agreements to be signed between the two countries. Okay. Now talking about UAE, don't forget that it is the very first country in the whole world to declare 4.5 days as working in spite of 5 days. Right? Usually all the countries have agreed to make their working days as 5 but this is the only one to allow 4.5 working days means Friday afternoon, Saturday and Sunday totally off. Okay. Next question. India signed a memorandum of understanding with which country for cooperation in the fertilizer sector. So high level delegation led by Dr. Mansukh Mandvi who is our Union Minister of Chemicals and Fertilizers visited Jordan for enhanced cooperation in the fertilizer sector amid the global fertilizer crisis. So this memorandum of understanding was signed with Jordan for supply of 30 LMT rock phosphate, 2.5 LMT DAP, 1 LMT phosphoric acid for the current year. And a long term memorandum of understanding was signed with Jordan for annual supplies of 2.75 LMT of the chemicals. Okay. Next question. Assam Rifles and the Axis Bank partner to establish a center of excellence and the wellness in which state? So Assam Rifles, Axis Bank and the National Integrity and Educational Development Organization have inked a tri-party memorandum of understanding to establish a center of excellence and the wellness for the youth of Nagaland. So this center will be located in Kohima district and 30 children from economically weaker sections will be selected from Nagaland for free residential coaching to prepare them to enter medical and the engineering colleges. Okay, so this state is Nagaland. Next question, Center for Development of Telematics that is CDOT has signed memorandum of understanding with which telecom service provider recently. So CDOT and the Research and Development Center of the Department of Telecommunications Ministry of Communications has signed a memorandum of understanding with Vodafone Idea Limited which is one of the major telecom operators of India. So this MOU was signed on the occasion of World Telecommunication and Information Society Day to use their expertise to develop and deploy Internet of Things M2M solutions in India. Fine. And when do we observe this day? It is observed on 17th of May. Fine. Now coming to last question. World B Day is observed during which month annually? So World B Day is observed annually on 20th of May to raise awareness about the essential roles bees play in supporting the people and the environment. So it is organized by the Food and Agricultural Organization and the theme for this year was Be Engaged celebrating the diversity of bees and the beekeeping system. Okay, so the month in which this day is celebrated is the month of May. Fine. So these were the most important news and the current affairs from today and yesterday. And now we'll move to our revision section. First of all, we will see some of the important banking related current affairs. Which regional rural bank has backed six national awards from PFRDA for achievement in the enrollment of Atal Pension Yojana? What is PFRDA? Pension Fund Regulatory and the Development Authority. So this bank is Karnataka Vikas Gramin Bank. And talking about Atal Pension Yojana, 
it was started by our prime minister narendra modi in the year 2015 and in this scheme people who are aged between 18 to 40 can participate and they have to submit the premium till they attain the age of 60 years bangalore international airport limited has partnered with which bank for a one stop payment solution this bank is kotak mahindra bank which indian bank launched the trade next which is across border trade finance service it is the union bank of india which city is to house the vulture gene bank for conservation of the critically endangered species answer is mysore in the state of karnataka the reserve bank of india levied a monetary penalty of how much rupees on manappuram finance limited for non compliance with no your customer that is kyc so recently rbi has penalized manappur finance limited with 17.63 lakh rupees because they did not comply with kyc okay also few days back we have seen that axis bank and idbi bank were also penalized by the rbi with 93 lakh rupees each fine next question now in the next slide we'll see some of the important companies that were in news which food delivery company has acquired restaurant tech and dining out platform called dine out this is swiggy and under it the customers can reserve their tables in the nearby restaurant which company along with usaid have awarded six women farmers of the west bengal for breaking the gender stereotype what is this usaid it is united states agency for international development and this company is pepsico okay ministry of rural development has partnered with which e-commerce company to support the women artisans this company is amazon which insurance company has launched financial literacy campaign called inspires enabling an empowered future this is bharti exa life insurance which company launched the new artificial intelligence chips called godi2 and the greco these two chips have been created by intel okay now in the last slide we'll see some of the important international news which country has proposed close by habitable exoplanet survey this country is china which country launched the child online safety toolkit to make the online experience safe for the children this country is uk which country's election commission leads the democracy cohort on election integrity so the election commission of india announced that it will lead the democracy cohort on election integrity in partnership with 100 democratic countries and this cohort aims to share experience and the expertise with the poll management bodies of various nation okay so basically summit for democracy started as a two day virtual event hosted by the usa in december 2021 and the us proposed a year of action and to host a leader summit for democracy at the end of 2022 so in this india led cohort new zealand finland and european union have expressed their interest to partner okay so correct answer is india the india international center for buddhist culture and heritage is built in which country so this center is to be built in nepal don't forget that recently navin shrivastav has been appointed as the ambassador to nepal hasan sheikh mohammed has been selected as the next president of which country so now onwards he is the next president of the country somalia as per a recent report which country recorded the maximum number of air pollution related death this country is india and few days back muradabad from uttar pradesh was in news why because it is the second most noise polluted city in the whole world and which was the first one it was dhaka in the country of bangladesh fine now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past 2 3 days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this minus hatsana signing off